Good day, Great Tens. Welcome to the second week where we look at 2D trig problems. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at slightly more complex 2D problems, and they're not scary at all, so we're just going to take them in baby steps, and you'll find that they're actually very easy to do. So let's get started straight away. What did I say? I said the first thing that you do when you realize that you've got a triangle and you're doing trig, we write down the very cool phrase, sa -ka Sakatoa. So now it says the angles ABC and angle ADC are 90 degrees. ABC, so that's 90 degrees. Okay. And they tell us ADC is 90 degrees. Awesome. So we can use our Sakatoa. Now it says find the unknowns. So again, we're going to be looking in the triangles to see which of these triangles have got at least two unknowns before we start. So if you look at, you can see that in this triangle, ABC, and I'm going to try and highlight it. A, B, C, you can see that we actually have two unknowns already. We've got this angle here, 52 degrees, and we have the side 7. So therefore, it is going to be make sense that we are going to start with this side. So this here is 90 degrees, which means that this side is the hypotenuse hypotenuse. Yeah, is at 52 degrees. Well, that means that since this is the angle, this is the side adjacent to the angle, and this is the side that's opposite to the angle. Right, so it really doesn't matter which order we do this in. So why don't we go for Z first? Okay, so in that case, if we look at this, we want the adjacent sides. So I'd like to tick off. Okay, we want the adjacent side. We know the seven centimeters, which is the hypotenuse, so we are going to use cos. So we've got cos of 52 degrees is equal to the adjacent side, which is z over the seven, seven centimeters. So therefore, we can say that seven cos of 52 degrees is equal to the z. Okay, so now we get out our calculator and we basically pop it into our calculator. We go clear and we go 7 times cos of 52 degrees and we see we get 4.31. 4.31. Therefore z is equal to 4.31 centimeters. So that side there is 4.31 centimeters. Now again remember I said to you that it's always better to try and use the information they gave us rather than using the information that we calculated, if possible. And the reason for that is we may have made a silly mistake here. Maybe I ran it off. Maybe I transferred the numbers. So it was, instead of it being 4.31, I write 4.13. And when, when I use it in the next calculation, this is wrong. So better to always go back to the original information if we can. So I'm going to change colors just slightly just so that we can see the difference in what I'm doing. And now I am looking for Y. I'm looking for Y. So this time I want the opposite side. The original information that was given to me was the hypotenuse. So that's that one. So obviously then I'm going to be using sine. So we know that sine of 52 degrees is equal to the opposite, which is y, over the hypotenuse, which is 7. Therefore, we can say that 7 sine of 52 degrees is equal to y. And again, we just pop out our calculator and we go 7 times sine of 52 degrees and we get 5.52. 5.52. So therefore y, y I'm going to write on this side, y is equal to 5.52 centimeters. So now we have that y is 5.52 centimeters. Okay, now I kind of lied. I kind of wanted to start in the top triangle because if you looked at this, you could see that if you look in the bottom triangle, and let me just change color here so you can see what I'm talking about. If we look in the bottom triangle, we have got this side here, which is 2.2 centimeters given, and we've got the hypotenuse, 
which is 7 centimeters. Okay, now again we could use Pythagoras to get x and then use a trig to use theta, but because this is a trick question, a trig question, I think I'm going to go with using trig the whole way through. So if this is the angle, do you agree that this would be the opposite side? This is the adjacent side because it's next to the angle, and this here is still the hypotenuse because it's opposite that 90 degree angle. Right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find the angle, but we've got the opposite side and the hypotenuse. So if we go look, we can see we've got the opposite and the hypotenuse, so we're going to be using sine. So sine of theta is equal to the opposite, which in this case is 2.2, .2, over the hypotenuse, which is 7. So the way we write this is second functional arc sine of theta 2.2 .2 over 7. So it's arc sine 2.2 .2 over 7. So what we need to do now is get out our calculator. So out it comes and we're going to clear it. And remember how to do this. We're going to go shift sine because we want that second function sine bracket 2.2 .2 divided by 7, close the bracket, and we end up with 18.32, 18.32. So therefore we say that theta is equal to 18.32 degrees, so that's our little angle, it's 18.32. Now we want the last unknown, which is x. So again, I'm just going to change my colors. And let's pick a, hmm, let's pick orange. So we want x, we want x. Okay, so again, what we could do is we could use Pythagoras. But because this is a trig presentation, I'm going to still use our trig. So do you agree we've been given the hypotenuse and we've been given the opposite and we want the adjacent? So it really doesn't matter which one we use. Since we use sine last, I'm going to, oh, it doesn't really matter. Let's see what we haven't used. We haven't used tan. Okay, so let's use tan. So tan is opposite over adjacent. So here is your opposite and here is your adjacent. So we've got tan of 18.32 degrees is equal to the opposite side, which is 2.2 over the adjacent side, which is x. Therefore, I can say that x is equal to 2.2 .2 divided by tan of 18.32 degrees, because remember, all I'm doing is cross multiplying. I'm bringing the x to across here and the y down under there. So now again, we need our calculators, so out it comes, and I'm going to move it over so you can see what I'm doing. And what do we want? We want 2.2 .2 2.2 .2 divided by tan of 18.32 and it gives me 6.6444 whatever. So it becomes 6.64, 6.64. So that is equal to 6.64 centimeters and just to finish it off there it is, 6.64 centimeters. Okay, so actually, even this is supposed to be a more complicated trick question, it wasn't that bad. Let's do another example. Ah, now something interesting. It says a radio mast AB, so here's your radio mast AB, stands at a height of 20 meters at the top of a slope, which is inclined at 18 degrees to the horizontal. So here's your 18 degrees. The mast is supposed supported by a wire AC, yeah, it's your wire AC, okay, attached to a point C on the slope, attached to a point C on the slope, where BC, this length here, is 30. Calculate angle ABC, so they want this angle ABC. You can't do this because you're going to need to write angle triangles. 
Okay, let us look at another example. I can't do this either because we haven't done right more trunks. Oh no, you can. No wait, you can't. No. Right, grade 10. So that was another example of slightly more complicated 2D tricks. Um, I want you to go and practice, practice, practice and then do the assessment at the end of the section. Thank you, grade 10. Have a lovely day. Thank you.